Hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You supposed to be this close to me, and hopefully, you understand G.O.D. Maybe this cold, and I'm talking like no degrees. Hey, he in the building. It the needed building. to be said. It needed to be said, man. You feel me? Hey, welcome back to another episode to It Needed to Be Said. You better believe it. I'm sitting, I'm sitting alongside my co-host, Julius Collins. What up? What up? Better believe it. Hey, and today, we got a special guest, man. We got a very special guest. That's the only introduction you got a special guest? Huh? We got the one and only. You feel me? Come on, huh? man. We got the one and only. Rick Ross, it's what's going fastest, on? This is the biggest boss, man. What's up? It's the fastest fat nigga in the world. You heard me? Ooh. 4840, you heard me? Ah, check Ooh. him out. Check yeah, him out, man. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know uh. what it is. But for everybody who it is, it needed to be said. So here we are. This is the fastest and hottest shit in the streets. So I had to come sit down with my two homies. Man, first of all, I just got to say, yo, dude, I'm, I'm a real fan, bro. I've been listening to your music ever since I've been riding in the... 2007 rodeo and and, and, and motherfucking high school dude like right. this is what I'm talking about. this moment for me is bigger it, like this is like a huge moment for me right now like back when you made all the money in the world all hey tsh. so man I just want to say thank you for coming on the show you know doing this for me you know and and just also supporting you know whatever I got going on man so shout out to you dog you know Julius you got anything. Man, I, I go back to the Port of Miami. I think I was at Albany State. We, we already talked about that. Better believe it. One time for the Rams. That push it came out. I'm in criminal <laughs> justice class. I swear I just sold dope before I got to class, bro. <laughs> Crazy, like, right? <laughs> bro, to this day, I go to court. Pull up to the hey, courthouse hey. with some crazy plan. You get out, you you feel like you just really sold dope. Yeah, yeah, And then yeah. you go in there, you learn about the criminal justice system. Exactly. I was tripping going to class, bro. <laughs> hey, this dude, wow, man. But anyways, we going to get into the show. show. Ross, man, like, tell us, man, how you feel, man? How you living, man, today? I'm feeling like money. You know what I'm talking about? I'm you getting look like all money. to the money. You feel me? We ain't stopping. We enjoying life. We enjoying the hustle. Uh -huh. I feel like a nigga just went first round. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? You feel me? I'm feeling like a young Tyreek on you niggas. You feel me? You already know, baby. Yeah. Hey, if you ain't feeling like the cheetah, you already know my motto. Look good, <laughs> feel good, pay good, baby. I appreciate you, Miami Dolphins, for, for bringing me to the 305. Huh? I'm in the building today. They told me to talk my shit. I'm going to talk my shit. One time for the fans. Huh? One time for the fans. And you got the, fans, the whole man. city. I'm talking about all the way down from goddamn all the way down south. All the way to up north, you got the whole city behind you. You know what I'm talking about? The whole 305. And this big, homie. For real? This the biggest move we ever made at the Miami Dolphins. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That, this the question. biggest move we ever made at the Miami Dolphins. I got a question as a Miami native, right? That's and we're going to jump into it. And we're just going gonna to back it up at some point. Can't but wait. what was your initial reaction when you saw that trade had went through and y'all had the cheetah coming to the Dolphins? Oh, man. I got on the phone with all my Dolphin homies and. We went to talking big shit. Right. I got on social media, went to tagging the homie right there. Hey, wow. <laughs> well, we finna turn all the way up. That's yeah, what right. the Dolphin saying. When we seen it, man, I was I was just excited as a fan, just a right. young nigga growing up in Miami. Because you got to know and you got to understand, Miami ain't never really broke no bread. Right. You feel me? Right. We ain't had crazy. a championship, and I can't even tell you the last time we had a chip in this city, and I'm still down with them. Right. And you're talking solely football, right? I'm talking. That's all I'm talking. Okay. All we talking is football. Okay. We ain't never broke no bread. That's this the crazy. biggest deal we ever did. This the biggest contract this organization ever did. That's a lot you of pressure, You the biggest man. player in yeah. the history of this whole organization in this city right now. So he got pressure on him. You know what? He got to produce. No, no, no. I ain't going to even. We always got to produce. That's always. Facts. We That's winners. Facts. That's fact. We winners. We That's always right. got to produce, but I ain't going to call it pressure. Because when you a champion and you a winner, that's what come with it. That's so right. we embrace it. And right. we know why they gave him the big check. Why they gave it to him? They ain't, we, listen, let me tell you why they gave you the big come check. Come on, talk to we us. Ain't, listen, we know you catch. Huh, flawless. Right. We know you the fat. Huh, speed. You the cheater. We know that. Uh -huh. But guess what? You got something that you can't buy. You got that grit. You got mm. that chemistry. Mm. 
You know what you did Look, the other day? He, he know that football. OTA, what that was, OTA, the, the practice we was at the other day? Last mm. OTA, uh, last OTA. The last OTA, we was at the OTA, Rose was there, I was there, and guess what? As soon as the whistle blow, everybody who rushed home to get pussy, guess what? My little homie did. Still working. He stayed after dead reps. Mm. Him and two of dead reps. Come on, mm. man. If you don't know like, football, you better know this is this a game. <laughs> this, this is a sport that motherfuckers always looking for somebody to blame it on. Right. But when you there, earliest, when you leave the latest, right. when you running the most routes, a right. motherfucker can't blame nothing on you. Exactly, bro. Like a lot of people don't know that side of me, bro. Like in doing practice, me and me and Tua had like a misconnect. And I was like, bro, we got to stay at the practice and get that same throw. Mm -hmm. you know, so, and, and that's what we did. And all of the other receivers stayed out there and threw it with us. And that's right. why that's you got, bro. listen, bro. And I'm glad you said that. You know right. why? Because money don't make you a leader. No, it don't. Going first pick don't make you a leader. It don't. Going first round don't make you a leader. It don't. Just being Every different. snap. Going hard every snap. Every snap, bro. That's what make you a leader. Every That's snap. why they gave you that bag. You know why? Because you're going to show the next 20 rookies how they're mm -hmm. supposed to go, homie. Mm -hmm. And that's all. You got a championship. You got a ring. You right. can't buy that feeling. Right. You can't fake that feeling. You can't practice that feeling. They had to pay you for that feeling. Right. That's real. So, so. We know you the boss. We know you the biggest boss. Biggest you say the, the biggest, fastest what? Oh, the biggest, he, he fastest, said, fat nigga in the history of life. <laughs> he swear he the, the oh, biggest, yeah. fastest, fat dude in life. Yeah, yeah, Let's take yeah. it back because we know you qualify. You played ball on a collegiate level, right? Better believe it. Who was Rick Ross before playing ball, before the rap career, before the crazy amount of business ventures? Who right, right, right. I, you, you know, I was young William Roberts. Went to Carroll City High, made all day. Made was in every write-up you could make. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to be a um, – what they, you had to play three sports to be nominated for athlete of the year. Right. Mm -hmm. So I did football. I did uh, shot put discus. Mm -hmm. I went to the Bob Hope invitation, and I wrestled for a little while. I right. was too fat and tired for that. <laughs> I sweated too much in that little box. Jeez, man, you but I learned, I learned one move right. that I used on everybody. I still got that one move. I could take anybody down. What was it? Why, you want to try? Oh, it, it, no, 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 no. Nah, don't show it on me. Nah, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it to you. But, <laughs> don't show but it on it's me. one of those, like, when, when we lock up, uh -huh. mm -hmm. all I ever learned was that quick. You know, I got long arms. I grabbed the back of that ankle, and mm. I snatched. Ooh. So mm. I always look good. All the hoes clap for me. That's I look points, up, ain't it? I look up, I look up at the hoes clap for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got to be some kind of points, right? Like when yeah. you grab that ankle and yeah, yeah, yeah. When you grab that ankle and, and I flip you, I uh, mastered that. That was the yeah. only move I told the coach: don't waste your time showing me nothing else. Because once I get them to the ground, I'ma just carry city them. What was that record like though? Uh, I, I fold bad. <laughs> you, you never won state? No, 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 no. After I took that third loss, Rose quit. <laughs> that was it. So you had you had so, about three ankle grab flips, and that was it. Oh so. man, I, no, I won my first two matches. I won my third when I lost. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It was a real short motherfucker beat me on that third one. That technique, that motherfucker was like a <laughs> moving. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> since you quit, you didn't win athlete of the year? No, nah, I didn't get athlete of the year. Mm. No, nah, I just made Because he said he needed three sports. You, yeah, you, right. you got to have three so. sports down here in Florida. Gotcha. Got to. Gotcha. So, so after that, you got football, right? After that, I got football. I got a scholarship to Albany State. Ah, Golden yeah. Rams. Golden, Golden Rams. Rams. One time for the Golden that's Rams, right, man. That's right. Yeah, I went up there. I stayed a few months. You know what I'm saying? I had a good time. It was a real good experience. Right. I was ready to come home, though. I, I knew I had other dreams. So I got a question for you. If you could change anything, if you could go back and tell the younger version, you know, something about, right. you know, something that could impact your life, you know, differently, you know, what would you tell that younger version of yourself? Man, I wouldn't change nothing. Right. I say, boy, you a motherfucking legend. Keep going. Boy. Keep going. <laughs> oh, that bag finna get dropped in your lap. Stay focused. Stay, Stay focused. focused. Yeah. Yeah, That's because real. it wasn't nobody there to tell me that. It was uh -huh. never nobody there to tell me that. That's why I make sure when I'm around youngsters, I let them know. You got to understand the value of yourself. Even if you're dead broke and don't see it right now, you can, you can have nothing. Mm. You could be catching a 30 cent bus right now and be worth, man, you could be priceless, homie. You just got to understand it take time. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I would have constantly reminded myself. It take time, little bro. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. This Which, ain't no overnight play. Right. Which brings me to my next question. Like you, you already answering some of my questions ahead. Who's your biggest motivation? You know, 
as far as, you know, it could be your kids, it could be the money, it could be, you know, anybody, you know, who really motivated you to be who you are today? Man, it got to be myself. Mm. Because when you really got your back against the wall in that dark room all alone, all you got is yourself. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody come, going to come save you this lifetime but yourself. That's real. I don't give a damn who you crying to. Mm. Ain't nobody going to come save you, not this lifetime, but yourself. You the only one that could do it. Everything else, you know what I'm saying, is most definitely inspiration. But you got to do it for yourself before you can help anybody. Because if you ain't on your A game, you useless to anybody else. Mm. That's real. So thank you, me. That's, that's, that's what you need to be going with. Yeah, I think Snoop reason. did that. I like to thank myself. Shh. You got to give yourself credit, and a lot Shit, of people you don't do that. Great. You, you got to be the best version of you. Whenever right. you're not the best times. version of you, homie, it's, it's really hard to celebrate with you. For sure. Right. For sure. So after that. You got football. You went to Albany State. How did you get into the music scene? Like you went from a three a, a, a three sport, cut it short, go down right, to right, two sport athlete. Right, right, right. <laughs> you got the football scholarship. You right. went to Albany State. Right. You left because of the sand flies out there and the sand dunes. I for wish, real, for I, real. I, I, you know what I'm talking you about. Know what I never, I never. You didn't hit the dunes. Nah. Wait, wait, where at? Nah. And Albany, Albany State, the sand dunes. They got sand they dunes. They had you run the sand dunes. Nah. Now, you mm. know, when we got there that year, it just had the flood. So they right. had us not on the campus. Right. They had us actually on a military base. Right. So we was out in the middle of nowhere. And the last time they'll feed you, you know, on that football scholarship is like 4 p.m. So I remember looking around at 8 p.m., 9 p.m. <laughs> well, what we going to do, boy? Yeah. And I got tired of running out them people restaurants not paying, man. I don't think so, people understand the significance of that. All been the state is what? D1, D2? Hell no. Nah. What is it? I think it's like D3. D3? I think so. It felt good, though. Felt like a winner, but it won D1, D2. Uh, but but here's the thing. I don't, pe I don't think people understand the magnitude of what you did when you went to Albany State after the flood. You got to understand, at that time, Albany was murder capital of the United States per population, right? Yeah, right, right. So to go from Miami, then you was on the east side of Albany, right? When is murder capital of the United States at that time? Like, how were you able to navigate your way around coming from Miami? Did Was it a big transition nah, after the flood? No, nah, as soon as we got there, you know, as soon as we got there, you know the football, the football vibe. You're around a bunch of dudes you don't know. Everybody just getting there. You know, it's another week or two before practice. So right. you might have to put the hands on one or two dudes. You know what I'm saying? It's Hit football, them. though. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah that's going to happen. Yeah, Some yeah, dudes going to try you. with a little quick two-piece. Bop, bop. <laughs> Well, I'm Got from the to. 305. Come on, they, they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, everybody already knew. First two, three days, nah, yes, dude, fat boy with it, you know. Yeah, he with it. So I, I was cool. They always had love. It was nothing but, but love. And everybody else after that, you know, I click up. Because right. to me, that's what football was all about. Trust, loyalty, that brotherhood. Yeah. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's got to be a certain level of brotherhood to be success. Right. Mm -hmm. It can't be no weak niggas on the team, weak motherfuckers, because... You know, this one of them situations, and I can only imagine you being in the position you in when they wake up and right. read, boom, big homie just got 150 mil. It right. might, what if it's another motherfucker on the same team? He may, he may have got a few catches more than you. Right. He exactly. may have got a few more yards than you. It's a lot of times if he a weak individual, he mm -hmm. will let you in that team situation come between y'all brotherhood. Exactly. And right. that ain't the way it's supposed that's, to go. That's not the way That it's ain't the way to stick to the business. Mm -hmm. You keep grinding, we stay down, you going to get yours. You going to get sure. yours, big bro. Yeah, yeah, sure. you that's the way that, working. and that's right. what that was. So after I would get in a room full of full of dudes, they would understand I was a team player. So whatever we had going on, shit, I'm all in. Everybody eat. Yeah. Hey, that's a good way to live by too, man. But um, the question I got for you is, how was the transition just from, from playing football and then transition into being one of the most successful artists we know of today. Right, you know? right, right. And when I say successful, I'm talking about oh, business get, ventures, yeah, yeah. Most music, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rose. All of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Rose. What do you say? Most money. Most money. Most money. Most money. You go, man. Get into the bag. Get into the bag. It's still warming up to it. But you know, mm. when I was in high school, I was doing music. You know, we first. Our first music group, I may have been in middle school. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's always been thing in Miami. Right, right. It's always been about music. We always had local pirate radio stations that was playing local motherfuckers that was in your school music, mm -hmm. you know, and you could just hear it for only 
three mile radius, but so Miami was just different. So I was always in the music. Right. So I just knew I wanted to really commit everything to it. By right. the time I got out of high school, I went to boom, Albany State, and I was like, yo, I'm finna come back and just go all in. So how was that transition though? Like from you left Albany, you tried to break into the music industry. How did you get your break into the music industry? I know you said you got, you know, you all everybody already knew who was gonna rap. You did the middle school, high school. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. When you yeah. went back, how was that? How were you able to navigate your way to get your break into the industry? It was just really about coming back and starting all over at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You had to come start all over at the bottom, like yo, this shit real. You know what I mean? And I just began honing my craft before I even began networking with others. Mm -hmm. Right. I gotta create something that's special and unique, which took years, man. Right. That shit took Sheesh. years. But once I got to that point, that's when I began taking records to other people. Look, I hear what you're doing. Let me do this for you. I right. can help you. And I began writing for others. And that's how I really began seeing my first real light. That's how I met Kanye. That's how I met this one. That's how I met this one. We all sitting in the studio. I'm writing raps for others. Right. That's why I like this dude right here, man. This dude got a lot of action behind his talk. Like, not only do he talk the talk, he no, also no, no, walk no. the walk. It's no, passionate in every word. So passionate, that man. That talking shit, is, that shit so played out. I like to call it, you see it on Instagram, motherfuckers trying to look like they living something mm. you ain't even putting in the work, homie. Not even putting and in if, the work, And if man. that is yours, you above your means, homie. You already know. You already know what it is. You got to think long term. We got to really get to it. And if you're going to get to it, you got to grind. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I go, you see all my shit with me. I take it's like kids. I take them with me everywhere, baby. We repping the team. We repping the set. And that's why my partners embrace me the way they do. That's right. So... You, you break into the industry, right? right? But you were writing a lot in the 90s. You came up in the area of uh, era of a Trick Daddy, a Uncle right. Luke, Two Live Crew. What was that scene look like? Because now the music scene, just from outside looking in, the music scene is different. Like, yeah, it's going to turn, it's going gonna, it's gonna to evolve every so often. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When I was coming up in Luke, of course, JT Money, Trick Daddy, mm. all that Miami, the bass vibe, that shit, I loved it. Right. That's what Miami was, the beach, the parties, the right. pool parties, the, 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 that was all cool. But at the same time, I knew the music I wanted to make, the message I wanted to send was putting myself in a position of power nobody else ever seen. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was talking about getting money, so my beats and all that was a little different. And so when I began presenting my music to everybody else on a local level, they ain't really get it. Right. And I understood that. But when you're doing something that's different and unique, they ain't going to get it at first. Most people don't understand stuff like they don't they don't see your vision because your vision is your vision, right? right. It's just like trying to follow somebody else's dream. You got to uh -huh. lay your own roadmap and determine where you want to go and do it on your own terms. You just like transition over to how you when how your career is going. You're doing stuff on your own terms. Shit right. didn't pan out. And now you were in the driver's seat and you made that conscious decision to take control of your brand. Your life, your career, everything, your family, the head of your family, you took over. Right, you got to, man. As a man, I feel like you got to. You know, um, you definitely got to be the, you definitely got to be the um, head of, head of the household, and you got to make sure you do things to put your family in, in certain situations. Right. And I feel like I'm doing everything correctly right now. So you are, homie, man. You are. You making book move, huge moves on the field, doing what you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Like I say, you you going much harder. You at the Stadium first, you leaving last, you see, and as well as all the other business ventures that you're working on and going to oh, yeah. present. So them straight boss moves. You said something. That's that billion dollar talk. You said something that that we talk about all the time, like you, the homies, your homeboys. How do you? Yeah. How did you handle that from going from? And I don't know what your pockets were like before, so right, right. I'm gonna say this: right. <laughs> people can take it with a grain of salt. You went from having nothing to something. Was there a switch up in some of the people around you who felt like just because you made it, they made it, and they ain't did shit to make it? Just yeah, like that's I'm, an interesting question. I'm going to be know. honest. I, I ain't really feel that because I feel like if you're a real soldier, if you're a real one, you already know what the position is. Mm. Exactly. You understand? Right. You already know what the position is. Anybody that's in your circle, that's the opportunity they need to get money is being next to you. That's real. You shouldn't even have nothing to really worry about. My homie got two, three businesses that he doing. He had he running himself. Right. Mm -hmm. 
He look out for me, he woo woo woo, but he also on the phone trapping, sit, doing this, doing that, doing that. And that's what the opportunities are. That's if right. you're a hustler. Right, right. Because just because I'm finna get a billion, if you think I'm gonna put you on the payroll just to sit next to me and watch forensic files, <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna get fired. <laughs> now, you, now you know I'm a lawyer, so I gotta clarify a no, point. You're gonna for get you. fired. I gotta clarify a point. Please for you. clarify for Rosie. You said trapping. I just wanna make sure they understand he is not talking about anything illegal. Nah, he ain't he's talking, talking about, about hustling nothing. these businesses and make it happen. I yeah, say that yeah. because now you know they're using the lyrics and what artists say against them to get Rico charges. So I just wanted to clarify that. For oh, you. that's that's. I'll that's, be a Joe lawyer. I'll be a your lawyer later. For that's that. most definitely unfortunate, and I believe that's something that's gonna get changed. That's not gonna last for long. There you go. He that gave his answer on, on the situation, man. You better believe it. Yeah. Because so so and, uh, and, and, uh, on that note, we trapping. You know what I mean? <laughs> Freedom <laughs> boys, you feel me? Look, man, it, it, we ain't gonna touch on that because you know you know I'm in Atlanta, so it's just like I, I just feel like look. Y'all artists, y'all in a y'all in a predicament, right? Because y'all y'all art that's your life. Either you lived in the past or art that right. I think Ice Cube what he said. Right. My music imitates my art, my reality, what I once went through. That doesn't mean I'm actually still in that life, right? So I think I think my personal opinion, I think that's gonna backfire in the long run. It's not gonna work. I don't think so. Either. I know it's not. I don't think so. I know the way the law is set up, and then you're talking mm -hmm. to an author. I mm -hmm. write films. Mm -hmm. I write music. Right. So if I write a film, you tell me you're gonna indict me. Because in the scene of the horror film, I had someone run down the girl that was in the woods, and then they. Come on, man. Depends on what county that you was, is. That was what the, county that you was, in. That was, exactly. That, that was the scene of the film, and that's the same thing that the homie Gunner, the homie, you know, mm. you, you creating art, you painting pictures, mm -hmm. you painting photos. These are images, you know. Um, I too much can't chime in on this because you know they'll be I'm ready to be on my neck. You got to understand like, me, no, say, oh, me, okay. me, myself as an artist, the films I watched, I watched right. some of the, mm -hmm. I, I was in the horror films and mm -hmm. never once did I, when they cut the TV off and said, wow, I'm finna go in. You know, that's yeah, not what yeah. the situation is. Right. We can't use that against a producer, a mm -hmm. writer, a mm -hmm. director, and that's the same way with an MC, an artist, uh, you know, whatever it is. It, it, goes the same way do you just think that that's an attack on hip-hop and on, on, on hip-hop artists or certain artists because uh, i seen somebody say you don't see country music singers getting indicted for talking about he took his pickup truck and ran over because she was with his best friend down oh, by the you know why though you know why though yeah right but uh most definitely it's a different situation as mm -hmm. as black africans right in this country that we're dealing with right and i feel it's gonna get a, um it's most definitely gonna get addressed right yeah, man. So, um, so I, I, I want, I, I wanted to make a deal with Julius. Talk to me. What's the deal? <laughs> when do we win the Super Bowl? Uh oh. There you go. Come on, here we go. Talk your when shit. do we win the when Super Bowl? Right. Win the Super Bowl. That's right. This Rose, you know how Rose, I'm so optimistic. I just, I just my need success supersedes me. I, I just need two wing stops. One in my hometown. That's too easy. And Which one in my what, backyard. Where the hometown? At? Douglas, Georgia. Douglas, Georgia. Small town, man. It's too easy. We got one. We got a few. We got one in Newman, Georgia. We got one in Byron, Georgia. We got one in, we got a few in Georgia. Douglasville. That's too easy. And one in the backyard. What Columbus. if I can't, what if I can't, in the backyard, well, talk to me. You talking about his backyard, like right, right back out. There. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's not I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. No, 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 no. But if we can't get you there, I can get you the food truck where they put they serve the wings off the truck for you. Lemon pepper, baby, out the backyard. Yeah, I definitely need that though. Yeah, but we going to the Super Bowl this year. I ain't scared to say it. Yeah, come on, man. You thought I was going to say it? Let them know. Come on, man. Y'all already know what it is. We going to the bowl this year. I completely agree. Uh, the depth chart y'all got crazy. It's mm -hmm. crazy, but you know. You you an avid sports fan? I'm an avid sports fan. What do you, we, you we know you watched the first episode. What do you make of the first episode of it needed to be said? What was your gut reaction to that podcast? Because I'm sure you've seen it. It was all over Twitter and because the man got bashed. Instagram got straight bashed. It was on Tinder, I think. <laughs> it was all over the place. <laughs> when you it? say you got to realize when you say bash, Rose look at it different. You got to understand. When you the one who get the check, right? That's what come with it. Exactly. And Rose gonna take the check. Mm -hmm. Who else do you talk about? Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm. Do we remember who went fifth round? Mm -hmm. I'm just keeping it real. 
You remember a fifth round? I know. Now you're talking I talking know. You remember a fifth rounder? I do. Do you remember a fourth rounder? Not you might have went to little league with somebody mm-hmm. went fourth. Rose uh, don't. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't remember who went third. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, guess who they talk about? We only talk about who got the big check. Right. Exactly. So that's why they talking about you. They don't. I already right. told you, I will have Shannon Sharp Uh-oh. give you a massage on your neck. Take your shirt off. Hey. Just take your shirt off. I'm going to have Shannon Sharp take his shirt off and go <laughs> rub icy hot on you for 10 minutes after your 10th touchdown of the season. Shannon, get ready. Rick Ross said it. Shannon. I said it. Shannon, get on your push-ups, your sit-ups, your blurpees, your crunches. I call them blurpees. Get on your blurpees because you're going to do a 10-minute neck rub. Shannon on Tyreek. Yeah, yeah, Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp. You're going to do a 10-minute neck rub with Icy Hot. I want his motherfucking neck loose. And I want you to make sure you got a 10-piece lemon pepper sitting right next to him. You're going to have to Boneless on the right, flats on the left. And you get that Icy Hot ready. And guess what? After that 10th touchdown... Well, I ain't going to say which game it's going to be at, but you know, Shannon. Shannon, because you, you a legend, Shannon. We ain't saying you a legend, but guess what? I know you great at rubbing his neck. <laughs> I know you is, and we going to got there. I'm going to be there. Shannon, <laughs> you are not finna put you your hands. Come on, man. Come on, man. You got to let the man. Come on, man. Bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Shannon That's a legend. Sharp. Shannon Sharp he, grew up in he, Glenville, Georgia. He's he a legend. better than a rub of another man. Nah, man. No, 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 no. But no. he lose That's a bet. Me it's and a bet. Shannon oh, it's Sharp. a bet. Oh, it's a bet. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah, just and I, I don't want to shock. I ain't going to blindside Shannon. No. I haven't <laughs> spoke to him about this bet, but me and Shannon got a cool relationship. He sent me new sneakers. I show him love, this, that. That's a bet, a private bet we going to make. Uh-huh. I'm just letting you know when I win, which I know I'm going to win, I need him to rub your neck. Come on, Start Ross. At Come, the on neck. Ross. Come on, Ross. Come on. You're going to have to pull your dreads up now. Shannon gonna do it too Shannon Shannon hit me up on social media let them know we gonna discuss the bet we gonna discuss like they say the deets the details and we gonna get to it hey man look we gonna skip all that man Shannon <laughs> you are not touching me you, you hear me you are not touching me if you touch me I'll hold up, hold up, hold up. So you walk and take his rank so Shannon Sharp can't give you the massage nah he can't give me the massage bro or if he can't give you the massage Stephen A. Smith, I have to come give you the massage. Nah. Stephen A. Bet. Smith, listen. Take that bet. Listen, take, take that, that bet. bet. Let me tell you take something. Stephen A. Smith, <laughs> that's my homie. That's my partner. Right. We discuss sports all the time. We talk Super Bowl every year. Super Bowl talk, we talk. Stephen, we ain't spoke about this yet. We got to talk. Stephen, I'm going to get you on this show. And when we make our bet, you got to rub his neck 10 minutes with the icy hot. I don't know which brand yet, because the brand, we're going to discuss equity for Tyreek. Come on. With the brand. That's the only so, way I'll do it. That's the only way you'll that's do it. That's the only way. All right. So all of the Icy Hot companies, all of y'all that come up with the, ma- ma- the, the magic. We talking equity. Hit us up. Stephen A. Smith, you're going to take off your shirt. You're going to rub his okay. neck. We're going to get you in the Dolphins practice stadium. I'm going to give you my word on that. Hey, speaking of Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp, man, we got a new segment called Head Ass. What's that? <laughs> Basically, well, I'm going to explain what a head ass is. A right. head ass is a football term. Head ass means, you know, basically someone who thinks they know it all. And basically, they butt into every situation that they're not needed. And this week, head ass person of the week is none other than Stephen A. Smith. You know what? Just for his comments. This is my first time hearing that. That sounds like a compliment. Mm. If I was Stephen A. Smith, I would want to be head ass. (laughs) (laughs) For real. Why is that though? Tell me why. Because that's what you in it for. Oh yeah, yeah okay, Stephen okay. A. Smith, he, that's why he great at what he do. Right. And we just got to look at it from his perspective. Hot takes. You understand? He Hot gonna takes. make those any comment, whatever comments I ain't see it, but whatever comments it is, that's who I expect to hear hear it from. Right. Stephen A. Smith. Mm. And I told you, you the biggest dude in the game. Come on, baby. If he ain't talking about you every week, what the hell is he talking about? He ain't talking about nothing else. No. Maybe, maybe nothing. trying to talk about LeBron, but shit. Yeah. 
That's yeah, it. Yeah. One what, of the two. Yeah, yeah what yeah. type? And God damn, I need to be in that circle. Hey, Stephen, they keep me on head ass episode, whatever that is. <laughs> Make sure when you talk about Tyreek, LeBron, it's Rose it's right there. Rose. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Make sure you mention that boy out on that $3 million watch and that $1 million ring, baby. <laughs> head ass. <laughs> hey, so if you don't mind, roll the clip real quick of Stephen A. comments on first take. Let me get this straight. <laughs> to a tongue of a lower, you just joined. Y'all ain't even in preseason yet, so which means the only thing you've done was catch passes from him running routes in, in spring practice, at the very least. I mean, that's all. That's all you've got to go on. And that, you're trying to tell me, is comparable to the numbers you put up with Patrick Mahomes going to four straight AFC championship games, going to back-to-back -back Super Bowls, winning a Super Bowl championship, recognizing the fact that Patrick <coughs> Mahomes is the baddest brother on the planet right now as a quarterback, okay? And you're going to try to tell me a dude that you've never even played a preseason game with is more accurate than Patrick Mahomes? If you are really, really serious about that, I'm sorry, I'm going to say this on national television. Stay off the weed. <laughs> hey, so Stephen A. Smith, I just want to say you got to practice before you actually get to the games, and I never said anything bad about, you know, 1-5. I think the world of 1-5, one one um, he's arguably one of the best quarterbacks in the game. He's top two, if he and he's not two, you know, and all I'm and all I'm doing is basically just supporting my new quarterback, which is Tua Tua T. You know, I think he's a, I, I think he's definitely a, a contender to be, you know, a top five quarterback in this league. You know, he works hard. He's a smart kid. He's nice. You know, he has all the right intangibles. So I just think right now he's headed in the right direction. And for you to butt into a situation that you don't know about, that right there. Has given you the title to be our head ass of the week, man. So <laughs> sit your ass down somewhere, man. Please. Okay, okay. Down, okay. Down, this is what I want to say. This is what I want to say. Stephen A. Smith, this coming from Ricky Rose. That was one of the best blazers you had on in a long, <laughs> no, long time. Man. That was one of the best blazers you had on in a long time. And let me add my two cents. My two cents was my response my brother gave to his new quarterback. He's supporting his new quarterback, giving his new quarterback that that confidence he need for their relationship and they bond exactly. for them to take this organization, which is the Miami Dolphins, to the next level, mm. which we going to do. And Stephen A., I know you respect that. I know you honor that. You was just trying to get a little meme going with the weed, whatever that was. <laughs> but it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't trend. It ain't trend. He said it ain't trend. No, nah, no, nah, it ain't trend. It ain't so, trend. So you legitimately think that was one of the best blazers he had on in a long time. What? So that's your opinion. You're not saying it's ugly. You're not saying it's look good. You're just saying that's one of the best that's ones he had on recently. No, when he cut it on that was one of the nicest oh. so i got a question every time y'all watch a Stephen a video both of y'all because i noticed y'all both coming on his blazer or suit or whatever right, right, right. is it is it the suit the first thing y'all look at before he say anything both of y'all i'm gonna let ross go first no 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 Stephen a got a lot of different angles you can start with his haircut <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah. Steve? They, you know, you just go with this blazer, and then it's the shit he gonna pop. I love him to pop his shit. I love him to pop his shit. I go that order too. Hairline first, hairline which first. Is, is is it's over with, bro. You gotta let that ride. It go hairline oh, yeah. first. Nah, his hairline. We need him to keep his hairline. What he for? If he cut, what? if he cut it all down, then what we gonna have to look at? That's Stephen A. Can you picture him bald head though? He, I ain't look at it. I ain't look at it. See what I'm saying? He turned it, to Steve in. It's, it's Steve. Right. No, straight Steve. I think <laughs> it's Steve. He, he go ball. But I like that order. He, hairline first. I don't know why he's still rocking the fro, but hairline first. Now leave that fro. And leave then go. No, nah, nothing wrong with it. That's him. Like you said, you be, be who you are. He's been, that's who he is. And then I go suit. I, I'm just not a fan of that. You know, I'm, I'm not very fashionable, as you can tell, but that suit. That jacket, was, that jacket was bad, Ross. Like he talk about everybody else, but that jacket was bad. And the suit probably cost ten, fifteen thousand dollars. No, 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 no. You don't no, think no. so? You don't think so? 
What you, what you think that was? What, what you think you got it from? Man, them old well, school suits. Saying, I'm in the couture. That's that Burlington vibe. I know you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, see, you yeah. know your stuff, then. That was a nice quality sixty nine seventy nine dollar blazer. No, no. Yo, yo, no, don't start. That. These are hot takes. These are real hot takes. No, 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 no. Stephen, Stephen A is a G, but y'all know those Burlington. That's wealth, though. That's wealth. You know, you, you so, but still, you you just you shots fired, Mister Stephen A. Smith. You have twenty four hours to respond with a receipt showing that your jacket was not sixty nine seventy nine dollars from nah, Burlington. I know that's Coke Burlington. from Burlington. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you from you All know? My little homies pull up to Burlington and go to the club and get the baddest bitches. Y'all ain't on Burlington. Hold on, I nah, nah, be- ain't nothing against Burlington. Burlington. If I was look. a small nigga, I would have been in Burlington. Bur- you with know what? All I don't figure it out. I don't figure Ross out. He dropping all these places because he going to go to them like, y'all seen me? I, I shot at y'all out. I need that equity. Why not? Come on. You said He's it a earlier. smart I'm dude. I'm with you. He's a smart that dude. That jacket is not from Burlington, though. He got a plan. Who Burl- that Burlington from? ain't you going. Think it's custom- it's I think it's City Trends. See, I ain't never shop at City Trends. I didn't uh, either, but I know it. I, 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 I seen some people who had. City Trends sell blazer? Nah, that's how you know he got it before he got into the store because he wasn't supposed to go there. Yeah, oh. he got that made by like a private... You know, designer from Sandy Tree and song. It was definitely about a ten thousand dollar suit though. Like it, it, it This gonna be our last twenty seconds on this JC Penny Blazer. Now come on, that's our dog. Now he killing that's, <laughs> right. that's our home. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. we rock with you the long way, baby. You a legend. But them the legends, that's what I look at. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just like artists and bloggers, the relationship. Mm. That's just what it is. And love, at the end hate. of the day, I got love for all the bloggers. That's right. You do your thing, you post your shit, boom, boom, boom. When I pop my shit. Just know what it is. Just know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Business ventures. Man, I mean, you've Business established ventures. yourself as a mogul. Like, you went from football to to, to the rap game right. to a straight-up boss or a mogul. How? Um, Just just betting on myself. Mm. We got to bet on ourselves. Right. And when we bet on ourselves, when we hit, when we win, when we put ourselves in them positions of power – capitalize mm, right. we don't have one day to fuck up we don't have two steps to step back now nah. and a lot of times as young entrepreneurs we got to know the difference between when you see light at the end of the tunnel or when you see the head of that damn train coming at you mm. you got to know the difference you ever went into something and you didn't see that train coming at you you thought it was a light a at the end of the tunnel and it hit that's you. what gambling is about that's right yeah, and man, guess that's what? what you do that as a young man you do that as a young entrepreneur you do this you do that you write this song you do that you do, and you take losses mm-hmm. but right. you realize i understand what i could really bet on and win with right I know how to win with myself, and I'm going to win with I myself. I bet he learned from it, though, a lot. You feel me? And, and, and I said, fuck that. I'm going to make sure I win with myself, and I didn't stop. So I, I turned up my, my whole work habits. Nobody would stay in the, and put in the work like mm-hmm. I would. You know what I'm saying? And it's still the same way. We still running 25 businesses, writing books, Sheesh. doing this, doing mm. that. We still performing shows. I still go out, not just for the money. Fuck the money. I go out because I really love being with the ones who supported Rosé. That's how I walk in the room. Cut the music on now. Right. Thanks. Now let's hold our Bel Air bottles up. Let's hold our Bumble up. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate this hustle. Right. There's so many ones that's not here with us. Mm. You know how many motherfuckers ain't here with you? Right. It's a lot of motherfuckers you play little league with. Motherfuckers ain't here. Destiny it's is tough, destiny. Bro. Destiny is destiny. That's right. How long we going to stay? It's one thing to get some money. How long you going to keep it? That's right. We here right now. Right. How long we going to stay? Right. I'll never forget when I put out my first, my first album. I asked somebody that was working at Def Jam Records. I was like, yo, after this first album like that, how many albums you think I could do? Mm-hmm. I just, I'm just asking you, just, just on some G shit. And what was their response? Man, you might be able to do three. That's it? I think my heart turned black. Three. Man. It's, it's Rosé. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bitch, it's you know what I'm But guess what? I understand everybody not going to see the vision. Right. right. I'm going on album number 12 now. I'm closing a new deal, what, in the next day or two? Mm. Like right now, this, I ain't even saying nothing. This man making moves while he's sitting on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. We're making moves right now. We're making moves when we sleep. Shh. And that's the way we want it set up. Right. Right. So, so my yeah. question for you, though, um, how do you keep going? Like, what do you see Rose at in about five five to ten years? 
Oh, like, man. like, where do you see yourself five to ten years from now? I ain't sure how many billion. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be some bees. I ain't gonna even front, homie. Yeah, because because that's the things I'm getting myself involved with. Right. You know, and that's how I, I, I want young entrepreneurs to understand. When you somebody and you get ten grand, mm -hmm. you can make it to a hundred. You get a hundred grand, you can make it to a million. You get a hundred million, right. you could hit a billion, homie. You just got to keep being great at what you're doing. You can't take no losses. We in the biggest industries in the world right now. Right, we, right. We are part of the biggest industries. Mm -hmm. That's what we putting our hands on. We ain't just making goddamn songs and goddamn, man, man we, we got in the franchise and we understood that, mastered that. I'm not even sure how many franchises we got now. Mm -hmm. I don't even count them no more because that's not the most, that ain't, when, it, when I talk about in my portfolio, what's, mm -hmm. let's talk about the money. That ain't even what I'm talking about. Right. Uh -huh. That's something I'm proud of. Right. Mm -hmm. We got other ventures we making a lot of money with. I'm proud of my music career. Mm -hmm. That ain't the money. I'm proud of what I did when we stopped. I ain't know how to be no goddamn franchisee. I ain't know how to manage a friend. I ain't know none of that. Right. I ain't even, when I bought my first wing stop, I ain't even know I really needed a great manager. Mm -hmm. I just, man, I'm finna pull up in a Lamborghini manager, 10 pieces <laughs> with a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want some cheese fries? You know what, what, you, what, you yeah, want, yeah, yeah, what you want, baby? Huh? What you want? What you want? Shit. Oh yeah, yeah. What's that? Look Perfect, back there, yeah. the manager. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let yeah, let me get that lemonade. Yeah, you know what I like. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah. So through all of this, I mean, what's your advice to a young entrepreneur, Stay like up. the little kids that's watching your career, the evolution of what Ross? My is advice making? gonna be is um, accept the real, accept reality. You saying you really want to get money? Do you really want to? Mm -hmm. I'm a boss. My little bro talked to me this morning, and I said, what? Bro say we want to do the podcast. What I say, when? When? When and what time? When I say, when? Time. You said, what? The day. The day. I said, what time? Mm -hmm. Here we are. Mm -hmm. So are you on go, or are you pump faking? Really are you going to go get the money, really or are you really, what, you want to go take the hoes to get some shrimp and lobsters and <laughs> take a selfie when they put the ice cream down there? That's you want to pull the fudge on the ice cream and film it for everybody at home. Ooh, look at the fudge. That's what you want to do. That's that what ain't... everybody want to do, though, for real. Look, yeah. Look, look, look. That ain't this. what I want to do. When bruh say we got something to do, we let's do it. Do. Oh, yeah. When bruh say we yeah. got a play to make, let's do it. That's are true. you that type of person or are you not? Because if you ain't, you ain't going to last around me. That, that, that's <laughs> a problem. I'll let you hit on that one. Oh. <laughs> All I'm going to say is... We need to come up with a name. How you said that head ass, we need to come up with a name for the men that when that ice cream come down and that ice cream melting. We got a name for them. It just ain't politically correct, so we ain't trying to get in oh, trouble. Oh, yeah, don't, don't. Let's not <laughs> Bro, we don't want no trouble. We get to the chat. Whenever I need some motivation at night, I know who I'm going to call, bro. I'm calling Rick Ross, man, just to hear him talk, man. This The way this dude talk, man, the yeah. way he, he carried himself, this man. From every, it's all in the morning, y'all. This like, is when like, go to sleep. It's in his music, though. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. And I told him. I told him every day I'm hustling, and I understand it's artists that just make music for certain things, but I wrote those lyrics from my heart. Mm -hmm. nah, I can when see I it. said I'm the biggest <laughs> boss, bruh. Bro, I meant that. That was in, that was me being in a small independent deal saying, man, I'm going to work. I ain't going to crab. I ain't going to be a mark. That's just like somebody having to walk on a team. That's just like somebody having to walk on a college, then walk on to the NFL. But knowing, boy, I'm going to make Hall of Fame on these hoes. They got me fucked up. That's what my mindset is. Man, I rarely, like, I rarely see you in rap beef. What's up with that, man? Like, I rarely see you in the, the like, reason it's becoming is like, the reason being is because it's different between rappers who rap beef and dudes who really bout their business. I'm a real businessman, so when you come trying to step on my toes, you better know what the fuck you really doing now. Mm, uh, I pray you really know what the fuck you really doing. Right. As soon as I got in the game, I showed people that that ain't no problem to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had exchange, I exchanged words with whoever you thought was whoever. Uh -huh. And I told him, feel free to holler at me. If you ever want to feel free, come at me. Uh -huh. You could book me. I come to your city. <laughs> I come to your house, nigga. <laughs> I come to your mama Mercury dinner, nigga. Send me, that, send me that check, nigga. You ain't even got to look for me. I come. And I showed him that, but it's a difference. 
It's a difference from the way I growed up and other motherfuckers. And I understood that soon. My first year in the industry, I knew I was different from all these dudes. Mm, right. I knew I wasn't going to take no. I, I'm going to get some money. This shit. Right. This shit. Oh, yeah. This so your mindset was already different. Like, I ain't, I ain't trying to get into all that. I'm oh, just trying man. to get to this money, man. Oh, man. And get yeah. to this business shit. Yeah. That's real shit, though. And then when you're a real street dude, you got you got to be a businessman. And I pray everybody know I'm a real businessman. And right. Be business. I think, I, think, I think it goes without saying because even... No, I, I still go back to Port of Miami, right? You was yelling that ball stuff all the way back then. I meant it. Off top. I meant it. It, it, it. It's obvious. Whoever I said, <laughs> it's obvious. Whoever, it's very obvious. I it's said obvious. whoever don't like it, it's obvious. fuck you. For sure. Whoever ain't with it, fuck you. Whoever thinking they going to stop me from getting to where I'm going, fuck you. Mm. And that's what we showed them. Not only that, that was the attitude, but we meant it. Then we put the work in. Right. right. It's a difference when you just talking that shit and when you putting that work in. That's me. I'm going to stay after and get those extra reps in. So I don't think we really touched on this. Like, who like who was it for you who really taught you, like, that, you know, um, that discipline, that hard work, I'm you be know, honest. just being you? Because for me, it, it was my I'm grandparents and my parents. I'm going to be you know, honest. For, for you, who was and it And I for love you? the way you gave them that credit, but honestly, homie, it was in you. It's just already in you. It was already in you. And, they, oh. they, and that's you seen where it came from. Uh-huh. It was in you. That's why they gave you the big bag. Mm. That's real. That's why it was in you. I can't tell. I, you, know, you know how many artists I done worked with, came up with? The same things I'm believing, I'm telling myself, I tell them. They wouldn't go with it. Right. Everybody ain't going to see the vision. Everybody don't want it mm. bad as you. Mm-hmm. Everybody don't want their crib to be this big. Everybody don't want their backyard to be goddamn like a football field like yours is. Right. And I ain't mad at them. That's that's cool. I do. I want it. I want the waterfalls and the splashes. I definitely. I want to hear the birds chirping. <laughs> I want it. I want to be Real able crazy. to sit up and sip some, you know, some rum in the morning. Walk around. On me. Have my homies and we come on, homie. That's what we working for. Speaking of business ventures. You said you want to be able to sip rum. What kind of rum is this? This is this is Pop your bumble. Shit. Talk about this. This, this is, is rum, bumble y'all. rum. This is bumble rum. The fastest growing rum in the world. This is bumble rum. When I tell you, um, I've never been a Hennessy person. I always been a big dude. Two shots of Hennessy, I'd be sweating in the party, <laughs> musty to the bitches. You can't be a fat dude, musty <laughs> to the hoes. Nah, you. You see. Always had to smell my cologne as a young brother. I wore that cool. Breeze. That's when they come in. Yeah, that cool. Breeze. That, that cool breeze on with that that Ralph right. Lauren. You see, but um, so I never could rock with the Hennessy. So the, the rum was a little smoother. So this right here is what I really rock with. You know what I'm saying? So right now we got the rum. We got the Bel Air. Um, of course the Bumble. We got the Bel Air McQueen, the gin, uh-huh. Vion, the cognac. You see, we got potato chips up here. Got the wrap snacks, man. Got the rap you snacks. need the wrap snacks. Wait, so, why not? Like, I got a, I got a question. You want to do a I taste? Can, oh, oh yeah, we can do a taste. We can do a taste. But breaking into the the, the wine and liquor industry, how difficult was that? Because we've had conversations. Not saying he wasn't trying to get them. We were just having general conversations with right. you know manufacturers and distributors, and they was just talking about you know the hurdles that some entrepreneurs go through trying to establish a brand, a uh, brand of liquor, a line of wine. Exactly. How difficult was that, if it was even difficult at all? I'm not even going to say it was really difficult. You know, I was fortunate to become the partner with Brett Barish. Brett Barish, mm. one of the greatest um, innovators in the, in the, in the market. Mm. You know, he created Ace of Spades. He created Duce. He did all those with his eyes closed and moved on. And here we are. You know what I mean? But to me, I think um, the biggest hurdles is overcoming the hurdles you place in front of yourself. Right. You know what I mean? Because when you become a partner that brands mm-hmm. want to partner up with, they make it easy for you. Uh-huh. And my partners know Rosé on go 24-7. Oh, yeah. I really go hard. They know you be posting. They yeah. know you be branding yeah. yourself and yeah. doing all that. And I'm really having fun. Yeah. I'm walking barefoot. Let's show some cars. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's we making music all night. Wake up in the morning and and I just make sure whatever it is I'm doing, I love it. So it ain't no pressure. Right. Ain't none of my business partners got to call me. Hey man, I've been calling you a week, man. <laughs> hey man. Hey man. You, 
your, your business failing when that started. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, man, I've been trying to look for you. Hey, man. No, I don't get down like that. Right. Right. You ain't got to look for me. That's a man of his business right there. Big time. You know I'm very inquisitive. I think you know that by now. Your fascination with cars. Right. You just did a car show, car show. at your house. At my crib. Point what now. was the mindset or the thought behind that? Because, I mean, we know people who went, and it was just it was just donks everywhere. Like, it was donks like, everywhere, man. It was, it was really mind-blowing. I feel like we revolutionized the game. We done changed the game, stimulated the game. Um, I had 6,700 people. How long? In your front yard? Yeah. In my front yard. Not the side, not the back. Bro got his own county out there. Just in the, in the front. <laughs> bro, hold on. Hold on, yeah, yeah. Hold on bro. How yeah. many acres exactly do you live on? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm close to 400 acres. Sheesh. <laughs> close got, to 400. He got his own little city. That's definitely probably bigger than Pearson. He got his own county out there, bro. Like, easily like you got your own county. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that. You should petition for you. 67 County. 6,700? Petition. Yeah. <coughs> wow. Petition them and get it. We changed. had close to 1,000 cars in the actual show. Over 6,700 people. I mean, they came from everywhere. We conducted a lot of business. I bought three cars over the weekend at the car show. Well, you can buy another one today if you want to. Oh, man, we could buy 100 more today. If we nah, so it's a black one out there. It's that a you black one right in my past. front yard that you oh, walk I right seen that. Yeah. I, seen, I seen a truck out there, too. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, I'm selling that one, too. Oh, let's talk about it. Come on, we'll talk about that after the show. Yeah, but, hey, this rum is actually good. I just I just took a sip Man, of it. Man, we trying to tell y'all, make sure y'all try this bumble rum. This rum is I on may, fire. Hey, I ain't going to lie. I may have to get off Hennessy, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, I no, love no, Hennessy. Yeah, you got to get off Hennessy. Hennessy. You heard that, Hennessy? I, we I shut Hennessy tired. down right now. We done drank Hennessy long enough. Now it's the bumble rum. And I'm just keeping it real with you. Just try it one time at the party and let the ladies tell you. And he'll tell you, I don't drink. I and drink you know, this. You know, Rose, I'm a I real drink classy this. drinker myself. I see. I'm a real classy drinker. I've never been a, uh I've never had an experience of drinking and vomiting. You know how oh, motherfuckers, no. oh, I threw up, but I ain't never <laughs> did that. I always just have a I enjoy the party. That's the vibe. Right. right. You right. know what I mean? You That's gotta what know your surroundings you when yeah, you're yeah, in that yeah, party, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I ain't never I ain't never got fucked up like that. So this how we walk. Yeah, man, but Ross, man, I just want to say thank you for coming on the show, man. It's been a it's been a blast picking your brain about your businesses, about football, about your life, man. And I just gotta say, man, you are one hell of a dude, dog. And man. I'm honored to meet you. You know, just being in my house. You know, you made my mom's day by just you know <laughs> hugging her for like five minutes now. And you then. already know, man. She beautiful, and man, you got a beautiful family. Thank I you. love how you building around your family. Your little ones getting to enjoy. Just the, 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 just the energy and, you know, you building with your team, your partners yeah. Yeah. right here, your podcast. And I'm here for you. Anything you need. I'm proud of you, homie. You're going harder than you, 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 you required to. Oh, yeah. That's what make you great. You feel me? And it's only the beginning. Mm. It's only the beginning. And understand that and accept that. That's what I had to do as an artist. Right. These are my fans. Mm -hmm. Stephen A. Smith is your fan. Mm. Shannon Sharp is your fan. Mm. Those are our fans. That's, those are your friends, Friend. believe it or not. And when y'all see each other, y'all hug each other. You feel me? But, but, nah, Shannon. I thought you said I was going to get a massage. You, yeah, 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 yeah. Shannon, <laughs> Steven, I guaranteed you on the podcast, but y'all got to get that massage on the neck. Very crazy. I know the neck, you know, his neck is a little more muscular than mine. <laughs> Whatever these muscles call right here on him, I'm sure y'all will be able to work that out. But but that's what the energy is and the vibe is, and we're going to always remain positive. Oh, yeah. And we're going to keep being great. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. That's and, for sure. And, and nobody could stop us. Nobody. No, nobody. Can't, the train ain't stopping for nobody. So if you want to lay your ass across those tracks, just understand we don't stop for pedestrians. We don't there stop for go. pedestrians, baby. Yeah, no no definitely speed bumps. No nothing. nothing. <laughs> Y'all both nothing. Are crazy. Got to. Nothing. We ain't stopping for no pedestrians. We, we definitely appreciate you, man. You genuine. You don't know me from a can of paint. We first met. We just chopped it up. But I already definitely know, you appreciate with, you it. With the team. You with the yeah, family. Yeah, already for see, sure. For I sure. see what you bring into the team. Oh, man. We already I see. I already <laughs> see what it is. You already we know already what it is. And, and that's what it's about. We got to have our team. We got to have our circle. And we got to be great. And we got to demand greatness from sure. each other. And that's every day. That's for every sure. day, man. Ain't no off season. No. Ain't no off season. And that's if it right. is, it's a scary off season. We don't need more now. I don't need more now. Yeah. You working. I don't need more now. 
Well, um, we like to say, we, we, we always say, and a lot of people don't believe it, I don't think. We said it on the last podcast, and we got a list name. We say, most people get 24 hours in a day. We can tell you, we work 48 hours in a day. Work 48 hours a day. If, you get, if people get something done in 24 hours, well, in, in 48, we done got it done. I we love done that. two days I love and that. one day. You, you, y'all get 48 hours in a day, and, and where I'm from, how we count one plus two equal 12. There you go. So we gonna motherfucking get it. You heard me? Gonna so we gonna, eat. honey, we gonna, we gonna do this toast. Hold on, let me get some more. Yeah, let's get some more. Let's pour us a little bit more bamboo, and we gonna make this toast because it needed to be said. It needed to be said. It man. needed to be said, and it's a lot of things that needed to be said that, um, you know, a lot of dudes man not had the platform or the opportunity to say it. So we gonna say it for you. So we want everybody to know who watching. We speaking on your behalf. These the hustlers, the athletes. The bosses, and guess what? We just want to say cheers. Cheers. Everybody tuned in. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate Ladies. it. Amazing. Needed to be said, Ricky Rose. It's episode two, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Episode you can't four. Put in the beat? All right, coming off the dome, Tyreek Hill. It's never been done, never been said. Huh. Rose ad libs. Huh. Tyreek, give us that flow now. Hey, I can say anything I want to. You can say anything, anything you, you want, want to, to, baby. Anything right. you want to, baby. Bars. I got to feel the beat first. I, I, see, I really can't feel the beat from here. If I huh. can't feel the beat, then I. Come on. He finna feel the beat. Yeah. 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 Tyreek Hill, baby. Huh. Tyreek. Uh-huh. I mean, I went B-Rabbit in this bit. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you know I killed it last time. Be kill, it, nah, kill it. Now I kill it. There you go. Kill pick it. up right there. Pick up right there. Huh. <laughs> that may sound good, though. Hold on. He going to do it. He was riding earlier. Look, I'm from a... There it is. There it is. I got to catch, gotta catch there it. There you go. There it goes. Cheetah. Cheetah walk in the club. Hoes go crazy. Huh. They look at me, say, Tyreek, man, have my baby. Huh. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I'm in the Mercedes. Huh. Driving fast, switching lanes. <laughs> I ain't got nothing, bro. I ain't got nothing. 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 Hey, we finna sell that boy the MMG! <laughs> yeah! yeah. yeah. Yo! m m m m m m m Oh, that's fun. Hey, hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key.